When your computer can start normally, but sometimes there are some startup problems or you want to save the system startup items on another disk, you can use the following methods. Step 1. Install and launch AOMI Partition Assistant. In the main tab, please click the Recover tab and select Boot Repair. Step 2. The Boot Repair tool will pop up. Please click Next to start the system's boot entries scan process. Step 3. After the process is completed, it will display the scan result, system paths, system versions, and boot status. And all reparable boot entries will be available to select. Advanced Settings. Select a location to store the repaired boot entry. Repair to the current disk. The system will boot from the current disk and ensure the boot files are complete and functioning properly. By default. Repair to another disk. This operation will repair the boot entry or create a new system boot entry to ensure the system can boot from the disk you select. You can either repair to the current disk or repair to another disk. Repair to the current disk is recommended for common users. Step 4. Select one slash multiple reparable boot entries you want to repair and click the Repair button to start the boot repair. Step 5. Wait for the repair process to finish. Once it is finished, you can check the repair result. If it succeeds, you will get a Repair Successfully result. Repair boot for PC that won't boot. When your computer, especially a laptop, cannot boot into Windows, you can use the following methods. Step 1. Install and launch AOMI Partition Assistant on a working PC. Click Recover dash Boot Repair and then click the Create a Bootable Disk option to create a WinP boot repair disk. You can also directly click tools dash make bootable media to create a WinP bootable media. Step 2. Boot the PC that cannot boot into WinP. It will automatically load the boot repair tool and start the boot entry scan process. All boot entries will be displayed. Step 3. Select the reparable boot entries you want to repair and click the repair button to start the repair. Step 4. Once the repair is repaired successfully, you can remove the bootable disk and boot the PC from the original system drive. Thank you for watching here, see you in the next two videos, if you have any questions please leave a comment or send us an email.